Hey, Dick and Chad, please keep up the great work. Love the show. And my family and I had a great time at the last meetup. Anyway, this is our van. And this is the back of our van. This is kind of the view you get from the rear view mirror. Now, sometimes, you know, with the rear view mirror, the difficulty is that you usually only see this much of the van. You don't see the sides or anything. So it becomes very difficult. I don't even see my daughter when she's in her car seat. So I started to look up, you know, I started to research some ideas to make it easier. This is our regular rear view mirror and it's small. And again, you don't, if I'm facing, of course you're gonna see the phone, but you don't get much of a view with this smaller mirror. Anyway, um, I ended up finding this device, gadget, item that helps us when we're driving. Son, hold this. So, I bring to you, I guess, the biggest rear view mirror I could find. If you put it up against the regular rear view mirror, it's about twice the size. It comes with uh, springy hook things that hook onto the mirror. I've had it for, I'd say, about two years. Okay, and all you do is clip it onto the mirror, and that's it, and you're done. And it does a great job. You can see so much more of the rear of the mirror. I could even see my passenger besides my daughter in the car seat. Um, it, it, the clips are so strong that my, my biggest um, worry was that the mirror would shake while I was driving or fall off while I was driving. And I've had it, I can say, for about two years now, and I've never had an issue with it whatsoever. And it does a great job. I can see everything in the back. I can see the side mirrors. It's, it's just awesome. And I advise it for anyone who has difficulty uh, seeing in the back of large vehicles. I would not suggest it for a sedan. It's just too big. Okay, keep up the great work. Bye. Bye.